Welcome to this video on the neuron. In this video you will learn about neuron structure and function. The basic functional unit of the nervous system is the neuron. A representative neuron is pictured below. Neurons have many dendrites extending from the cell body. They receive input from other neurons. This information is then transmitted to the cell body where it is turned into a neural impulse also called an action potential. Dendrite branches can be quite extensive and can receive information from thousands of other neurons. The cell body, or soma, is the part of the neuron that is similar to other types of cells. It contains the nucleus and other cellular machinery that maintain the cell. The cell body is the factory of the neuron and produces all necessary biological molecules. The axon hillock is the region that connects the soma to the axon. It is where the neural impulse begins. The axon is a long extension from the cell body and it conducts information in the form of the neural impulse or action potential. The direction of the neural impulse is away from the cell body, down the axon. It is electrical in nature. The axon ends in what is called the axon terminal or synaptic terminal. The axon terminal can branch off and form thousands of connections to thousands of other neurons. When the neural signal reaches the end of the axon, the electrical signal needs to be converted to a chemical one. So when the neural signal reaches the synaptic terminal, chemical messengers called neurotransmitters are released. Axons of neurons are often myelinated. Myelin is a fatty insulating substance that surrounds axons. It is produced by a type of glial cell called the Schwann cell. Myelin increases conduction speed and allows the neural signal to travel faster down the axon. The myelin sheath that surrounds many axons is not continuous. There are areas between sections of myelin. These areas are called nodes of Ranvier. Nodes of Ranvier are not electrically insulated and they allow the neural signal to travel even faster by jumping from node to node down the axon. The synapse, or synaptic cleft, is the space between the axon terminal and the target neuron. After being released by the axon terminal, neurotransmitters travel across the synapse in order to act on target neurons. This concludes this video on the structure and function of the neuron.